Hello, my beautiful, beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you guys have joined me here today. I hope you're having a good day or night wherever you are and staying safe indoors. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a detailed review on a few products from this brand called Sandiva. Sandiva is an upcoming skincare brand from India and I've been trying out their products for almost a month now. I absolutely love trying out new brands and new products in the Indian market and even the international market. I love it when I find something new and it works really well for me and I really want to share it with you all. Sandiva is like this new kid on the block because it's been only I think a month and a half or two months since they launched. It's been a little over a month since I've been trying out the products that they've sent me. In this video you'll find my detailed review on how these products work for me, what didn't work for me, you'll find application and everything. But before that if you're new here, hi my name is Preeti, I'm India's first cruelty free beauty blog. I talk about all things cruelty free which means products that are not tested on animals and I also cover vegan beauty and lifestyle tips. Now if this is the kind of content that you resonate with then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and continue watching today's video. Now before I talk a little bit more about Sandiva and my detailed review on all of these products let's do a comment shout out. Today's comment is by Ashita and she says love this series so much using products from your recommendations has never failed me. Thank you. Thank you so much Ashita. It makes me so happy that you guys trust my recommendations. She left this comment I think on my face wash video that I recently put up and I'm so glad so many of you guys enjoyed it. Let me quickly show you the logo of Sandiva. It's such a minimalistic and cute logo. This was the PR box that was sent to me. Now here it says the original sandalwood company. So sandalwood is one of the key ingredients that Sandiva has used in all of their products. So Sandiva is a 100% sandalwood based beauty brand from India and I think that's such a cool concept. Sandalwood has a wide range of benefits. I'm sure you all already know, but I'm going to leave them on the screen as well. Sandalwood and skincare for me has worked beautifully. Most of the Indian skincare products that I use have sandalwood in them and it works really well for me. I'm also aware that sandalwood is an allergen for some skin types, especially the very sensitive skin types. But on my combination oily acne prone skin, sandalwood works beautifully. And I'm going to talk about all of these products and how they worked on my skin type, which is combination oily acne prone. Let's start with the first product, which is a makeup makeup primer. This is what the outer packaging looks like and this is what the product looks like. So it has a pump dispenser and this is the color of the primer. It spreads beautifully on the skin you guys. It gives a very nice finish to the skin. It is very mattifying but on oily skin it's not going to be the most mattifying product. On my combination skin, this works really well, you guys. It does minimize the appearance of pores ever so slightly, but not extensively. It does have a nice sandalwood fragrance, which is not over the top at all. It definitely does fade away after a few minutes of application. The brand has sent me a detailed ingredient list of all the products that they've sent, but I'm going to point out the key ingredients here, which are mentioned. Sweet almond oil, black cumin oil, moringa oil, pure sandalwood dust. It does have fragrance added, but the fragrance is not that strong. It's also the last few ingredients. It does have vitamin E as well. This works beautifully in the sticky weather right now as well. In fact, I have it on my skin and it's been almost five hours of shooting with just a few touch-ups of loose powder and it's performing really well. It doesn't reduce the visibility of pores significantly, but it does a fairly decent job, you guys. It does control the sebum production of the skin, but if you have very oily skin, you will have to use a mattifying powder on top. What I love about this primer is that it really helps to smoothen out my skin so that my makeup application is way softer, more smoother. I don't have a lot of bumps and visible pores and all of that. This is definitely a primer that I see myself purchasing once this is done because it does the job. It minimizes the pores ever so slightly. It gives me a nice semi-matte finish, holds the oil on my skin for about five to six hours and then I have to like touch up and whatnot. And it doesn't have a very strong fragrance either. If you have very textured skin, I highly recommend using a primer underneath your sunscreen. So this one performs really well under all my sunscreens. I always use primers underneath before I step outside when I have a makeup look, mainly because I feel every sunscreen just emphasizes texture on my skin. It's just because I do have a textured skin, you know, I do have acne marks, I do have visible pores and I'm perfectly fine with them. But I would like it if my makeup were to not look that textured, you know, and that's when I use a primer underneath. So this primer from Sandiva works really well under SPF as well. 
So this will work really well for dry, very dry skin as well because it does not dry your skin out. It just actually works beautifully on the skin. It'll work for normal acne prone skin as well because I do have acne prone skin and this has not broken me out at all. And of course, combination skin, which is my skin type. While it does say for all skin types, I feel that this might not be the most mattifying for very, very oily skin. So to sum it all up, I see myself purchasing this because I take my primers very seriously. In every single video that I've shot, I've always had primer underneath and I'm almost done with like half of this because I've used so much of this already. The next product is something that is so exciting for me. It's a tinted sunscreen, you guys, and this is what it looks like. The packaging is very similar to that of the primer. This is in the shade 22 and this is what the color looks like. It's a very neutral color which will go with my cool tone skin. What I usually do is that I tap it with every sunscreen and then I blend it. I don't just go immediately and blend it. I like to tap it and evenly distribute it and then I just blend it out like so. So this is what it looks like when it's blended out completely. I think it's a stunning match. It works beautifully on my skin, especially on my face, mainly because my face is slightly more red compared to my hands. My hands are more pale. I have a very red face. So this works really well because it's a neutral color. Now, if you'll remember, I applied my primer on this hand and on top of this, I've applied the sunscreen. And if you'll notice, there's no pilling whatsoever. It's a semi matte finish and it works beautifully. Together, the primer and the sunscreen work really well. The primer works really well with any other sunscreen and any other makeup as well. Formulation is really nice, you guys. I absolutely love it. It does not make my skin feel too sticky. It's semi matte. It works beautifully with makeup, under makeup. It works really well, even like a slight BB cream because it does have SPF and a slight tint. Another thing that I like about this is that it comes in four different shades. So this is the shade number two, two, the second shade. And this is a more neutral color, which will work really well for anybody who's cool toned like me. So the lightest shade has a very yellow undertone to it. I'm not too sure if that's going to work for me. And the brand also suggested to go with this for my skin tone. And it works really well. Although I really want to try the lightest shade just to see how it works on my skin. It's got a very strong yellow undertone. So if you are fair and you have a yellow undertone, that will work really well for you. I love how the fragrance is not too strong in this, you guys. In fact, when I compare it with the primer, the fragrance in this is lesser. This is a sunscreen that I see myself purchasing, you guys. I'm almost done with half of this bottle. It works so beautifully on my skin. It gives me a semi-matte finish. It lasts very well for like five, six hours without getting super oily. I anyway reapply my sunscreen every 30 minutes when I'm outside. Um, I love how this feels on my skin, you guys. It doesn't clog my pores. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't have a strong fragrance. I love it and I highly recommend this because if you are looking for a tinted sunscreen that doesn't leave white cast, especially if you have a deeper, darker, warmer skin tone, this is a range that you must try out. The third and final product is something that I'm so excited to introduce to you guys because it's an SPF loose powder and this is what it looks like. So this is what the outer packaging looks like and this is what the product packaging looks like. Now, when you open this up, you get a very cute mirror right inside, which is superb for reapplication. I love it that they put a mirror right here. A lot of loose powders also don't have mirrors, you guys. So this is what the product looks like. I don't open the whole thing in any of my loose powders because then all of the product just falls out. This is a common problem with all loose powders, not just this. So what I do is I leave it half stuck so that all the product doesn't keep dispensing out. Now, while in the sunscreen, I fit into the second shade, which is a neutral color. In the loose powder, I fit perfectly into the first shade. Now, the first one number one one is a shade that is more yellow toned however as a loose powder it works beautifully on my skin to brighten up my skin tone and even if i have any odd redness on my face it just brightens that whole area up i've also tried the shade number two you guys so this is shade number two two and this is the first one this one was a tad too dark for me even though the second shade of the sunscreen worked really well for me in loose powder form this was way too dark so with loose powders i prefer powders that brighten my skin or they're closest to my skin tone this on the other hand was very warm and it had a more orange undertone i'm going to do a quick swatch of number two on the sunscreen to show you what i'm talking about so this turns slightly more orange i don't know if you can see this little discoloration right here it turns a bit too orange on the sunscreen even on my skin maybe because of the oils on my skin it oxidizes a lot so this color did not work for my face so this is number one 
And if you notice, it gives a very nice brightening effect to the skin. It's so mattifying, you guys. I absolutely love it. It works beautifully. It works like a loose powder. It's got a minimum of SPF 30, PA++++, superb stuff for reapplication. Now, one of the major problems with sunscreen reapplication is that if you have a full face of makeup, you need a spray or you need a loose powder that has SPF or makeup that has a good amount of SPF. However, in India, a lot of brands, international brands that sell SPF powders are not cruelty free. When I found out that Sandiva has loose SPF powders, you guys, I was elated. I was so happy. I could not control my excitement to try it out because I love SPF loose powders. And one of the biggest problems with finding those in the Indian market are that majority of them are international non-cruelty free brands. This will work for all skin types, you guys. Obviously, loose powders, if you have very dry skin, they can over dry your skin. But for reapplication, especially when you have a full face of makeup, I think this will work beautifully because it is very mattifying. This also comes in four different shades. So if you have deeper, warmer, darker skin tones, you can definitely find a good SPF loose powder that will work like a charm for you. Minimum SPF 30, check. PA++++, check. Indian vegan brand, check. Support small businesses, check. Affordability, check superb stuff i absolutely love it and i highly recommend it i am so so impressed with the quality of the products you guys i did not see this coming spf loose powders in india from an indian brand that is amazing i did not expect this at least not for the next two years but we are here indian beauty brands have arrived you guys i'm so so happy i'm in love with all three of these products no exaggeration and i'm so grateful that the brand decided to partner with me on today's video it makes me really really happy that brands trust me trust my recommendations you guys trust my recommendations and i'm super impressed you guys i see myself buying these products and i'm definitely going to get the first shade of the spf because i really want to try that out as well so i'll just buy it and check how it looks on my skin i will keep you posted on instagram about the swatches with both of those shades i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and discovering a new skincare brand with me if you enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up hit that like button so that i know you enjoyed watching this and let me know what questions you have about this brand in the comments below i will make sure to answer all of them and if i don't have the questions answers i will ask the brand and get back to you now, in case you've tried out Sandiva, let me know in the comments how your experience was like i would love to know what your experience with the same products is like all right, you guys, I'm going to take your leave. I don't want this video to be too long. I will catch you all in the next videos. But before I go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my previous videos right here and take care of your skin. I will catch you all later. Bye.